So this is for Barry Peters, um, and he's uh, looking for some feedback on um, a landscape study. Okay, so the first thing that I would say right off the bat is that you've got no real sense of depth in here, um, and it's it's more about the idea of how the foliage is creating form, and so what that means is. If you look at this, this uh, the way you've got your um, terrain is is pretty much flat, and in all reality, the way you should have your terrain is something like this, all right. And it's because of the solid line, the shadows, and things like that that you're having having issues. So that's the first issue that I see right off the bat. The second thing is your landscape and everything else is on that same plane, right? So here's here's some things that I would do right off the bat for um, kind of adjustment of your your landscape. The first is that I would definitely have, um, and actually I'm just going to copy and paste here some of this stuff. So the first thing I would have is. I would grab this and I would move it down here like so. Alright, and so by putting this down here, um, that starts giving you kind of that aspect of, and I'm just going to really quickly block this in, it starts giving you that aspect of that that shadow is starting to form outside of this. So simply by putting in that aspect, do you see how that kind of pushes um, the landscape a little bit further in? And I can, you know, I can build in like little depths here and things like that. That is going to help out. Um, the other thing you've got is you've got a tangent going on with this branch here. So what I would do with the branch is I would go crazy with it and I would put it a lot bigger. Um, in fact, what I would do is, uh, I'm just going to grab this here, is probably put in something along the lines of like this and that's that's going to tell me that this is in the foreground it's it's another element and it's much more interesting so the other thing is you've got this rock facing here um, and you know you've got it stuck in the corner and it it's literally it's stuck in the corner so what I would do is if you're going to tell me that this rock face is there then you know put a couple more in there I mean you, know, you can easily add in some extras and just just make sure that they're not the same and then I can you know brush in some real lights here and let's add in let's just add in real quick facing so this is giving me the form idea that the um, the the rock facing is it's it's more than just one rock sitting in the middle of nowhere and you can even build up a little bit more, um, you know, putting in this block of, you know, corner. Now I'm, I feel like I'm more in a cove. And if this is close to the shore, you want to implement your idea that, you know, maybe it's got a couple plants streaming up in a couple spots. Um, you know, just some little bits of pieces, maybe some coming off. Um, so things like that. Think about think about the where you are and where you're looking at, and that that type of thing. Um, even just some dark shadows here to cover up this. Um, and then what we can do is implement. Again, let's just add in some rock facings here, some things like this, yeah, or something like that. So, but that gives me a sense of purpose now on the lower half. And it doesn't feel like it's so congested of just this one rock sitting in the middle of nowhere. All right, so and I'd, I'd still would go in here and push in a little bit more of, maybe put some of that back. All right, so that's going to give me more depth of that overhang. 
Now, the other aspect of this is that you've got you've got this overhang going on. And I'm going to just really quickly grab some of this and um, oops. I'm going to grab some of this and I'm just going to transform it and so something like that you know nothing it, it's, it doesn't have to be that interesting that that detailed but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a little bit more form in here so by building a little bit more form you you've already defined that your lighting is coming in kind of from this direction so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by adding in a little bit more of the shadows on that side so do you see how that is adding form and depth into kind of that aspect of, uh, of these bunches of leaves so i'm going to go in there and kind of push down that aspect a little bit more and then you're going to do the reverse of that where you're going to bring in some of those highlights of where the sun is hitting like so now you can do the reverse and put in some highlights where like you've got this branch is casting a shadow on this cluster of leaves or you know maybe you've got I'm just gonna go with highlights here maybe you've got like a little bit of shadow in there but that's that's kind of how you're looking at it from a compositional standpoint um, and then the other thing that you want to do is you want to start adding in additional features. Um, so I would say, you know, you want to add in, so maybe a little bit of reflection here. Um, and I get that's some of what you were doing here. But, you know, a little bit of this, you know, maybe, maybe some of this reflection is popping in off of these leaves. Um, I don't have that brush, so I'm just going to block in my existing shape. Um, and this is how I do the landscapes. I block in the existing shape of what I'm trying to show. And then I do the texture over it. Um, because it's still, in the end, it's still just a form uh, that you're, you're dealing with. Now, as you get back, some of the stuff is going to dissipate too. Um, you're not going to get some of that sky. It's not as bad as that. But some of that sky is going to kind of lessen those layers. So the other thing too is when you're when you're drawing this stuff, think of layers of of equipment or layers of fo uh, foliage. So you would have a tree like this. You would have another tree coming in like this, and then you'd have another one maybe in the background like this. So think of them as blocks of you know of uh, trees and and shrubbery and things like that. So think of them like that. Because that's going to kind of help you out. Because right now, what you've got going on is you've got that very planar, like everything's solid, everything's one feel. Whereas if I if you break it apart, now I'm starting to get a little bit more of that feel of, you know, this is this is uh, a little bit more form in there. I've got a little bit more idea of what's going on, um, and my colors are way too saturated uh, for what I'm doing right now. But I'm just kind of showing you that idea of what, where you want to go. The other thing is something like this, as dense as it would be, this, you know, you might have a couple, you know, pop in a little bit of highlights here and there where the light actually does hit through that, those trees. And that's going to help you convince that it's not all like a solid object as well. So I hope that helps. All right.